guys welcome back okay so it's time for another episode of new releases with kk <laughs> i haven't done one of these in so long and honestly it's because i don't know i haven't really been feeling a lot of releases over the past couple of months i don't think the latest release that has me excited is the juvia's place release which i'm a little salty because i still don't have my palette but <laughs> there are some new releases that I've kind of been like, hmm, let me go ahead and see what's going on. So, of course, I'm on Trend Moods page on Instagram. I will have it linked in the description box below. I might stop by Indie Makeup Spotlight, which is Amy's Instagram page where she talks about all the latest um indie brand releases so i might stop by there as well but i just want to do a quick little video running through looking at what's hot and seeing if there's anything that catches my eye um just right off top i know that mr js jeffrey star um just announced a new drop or whatever i'm not talking about it because he doing too much okay so Let's just go ahead and jump right in. This first one that I'm looking at right now is from Batty Lashes. I've never tried Batty Lashes, but it looks like they have a new lash coming out. It says Extra Lashes, a long, lightweight, crisscross lash style. They actually look very cute. For a bold look, $19. Reusable, flexible band, 3D mink hair. So, of course, if you don't like mink and all that stuff then you won't want these <laughs> but they look kind of cute okay okay next i see here kylie skin has a new lip scrub it's called the sugar is that what it is vanilla sugar lip scrub exfoliate and soften lips leaving them smooth and prepped for product okay that's nice uh includes a spatula for easy application twenty dollars not bad and it says that it's available now. Oh, okay. Available now from Beauty Bakery. Now it says here it has, they're coming out with the Bars Mini Face Palettes. $18 each. It includes a contour, a bronzer, and a highlighter. Neapolitan Bar. It definitely reminds me <laughs> of the ice cream. And it says the Brownie Bar. Which bar did you get? Ooh, wait. Hold up. Hold up. That brownie bar looks cute. I might have to check those out. Does it have $18? That's not bad. That is not bad. Oh, I'm interested in that. <laughs> that caught my attention. Okay. Um. Okay. Wait. Hold on now. It says available now from Sephora. Um... Fun Mask by Incredible Cosmetics. I've never heard of them. They have a hydrating boob and bum sheet mask duo for $15. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> this is for your boobs and your bums? What? Moisturizes and firms the look of skin. Both are designed to keep your pair looking their perkiest and visibly uplifting your behind. Have you guys heard about masks for your lady parts? Um, I've never heard of this, okay? It says these masks are enriched with vitamin C, hyaluronic acid, alantoin, rose extract, and watermelon extract to hydrate, visibly brighten and nourish your acid. <laughs> what? I am shooketh. I'm really, really shocked. I've never heard of anything like that. What else is this? It says three love lip cheek and eye tint sticks for $12. Okay, so they have lip and lip, cheek and eye tint sticks to go along with these masks for your boobs and your bum. Okay, I don't even know what to say about that, but I won't be checking that out. Okay, what is this? A new eyeshadow palette from Lady Gaga is bringing she's bringing us color from house labs the stupid love palette 18 shades of full intensity pigment inspired by lady gaga's sixth album chromatica 
that's a pretty palette y'all know i love me some blue okay that is a cute little palette right there definitely don't need any blues <laughs> okay but i don't know i'm kind of liking the feel of this palette i haven't tried anything from house labs as of yet haven't really been drawn to it uh, the swatches uh, they leave a little bit to be desired definitely not a palette that i need but i do like the layout i like that silver background it looks nice with that blue you know little warm tones in there so it's cute um when is it coming out is it out yet 48 dollars may 19th so it's coming 48 dollars mm. yeah no i'm gonna pass okay so elf has a new cbd collection uh, it's available now on elfcosmetics.com. They have a CBD moisturizer for $15, a CBD facial oil for $18, a CBD body cream for $18, CBD eye cream for $15, or you can get the whole collection for 66 smacks. Now, I love me some elf skincare, okay? Lord knows I don't need no more skincare right now, so I won't be trying this out. I'm not really into the whole CBD thing. I've tried a few things and they didn't really rock my boat. So I don't know what all the hubbub is about the CBD stuff, but I don't really care for it too much. I don't have anything against it. I just don't want it. So I won't be picking any of that up, even though I do love Elf Skin Care. Okay, so it looks like Pat McGrath has a whole, what is it, Divine Rose Collection out is it out or is it coming oh it's coming in june okay so she has the mothership eight divine rose two artistry palette which is pretty but i won't be getting that lip trio for eighty dollars which is a divine rose gloss suburbia lip pencil and soft core matte trans lipsticks i do like her lipsticks though but <clears throat> for eighty dollars mm, i don't care if it is a trio no thank you um so yeah the palette is 125 dollars, and if you want to pick up the divine rose one and two palettes you can get that for 230 dollars. i guess on a combo deal okay very very pretty but yeah i i had to like stop buying pat mcgrath for a while because a lot of her stuff is is kind of like similar to me and it's i just don't feel like I feel like I don't feel like paying that much for no makeup. The palette is pretty though. Is she pretty. Okay, so Huda Beauty has a new mascara. It is a double ended mascara. It says long lasting matte black dual ended mascara that's clinically proven to give your lashes major volume. Clinically proven? Okay. This is $27. It says it glides smoothly onto lashes for an even, buildable, and clump-free application. Now, this I am interested in. Yeah, I really don't, I haven't bought any miscellaneous Huda stuff, like, you know, foundation and all that stuff. But, our highlighter palette is bomb. But this here, this dual ended mascara, I don't know, it's intriguing to me. So I might have to go ahead and spend that 27 because I am interested in it. So I'm probably going to end up checking that out. Next, we have what looks like some new lip products from Marc Jacobs. It says available now. And this is actually something where they're going to be donating to two charitable organizations that provide vital services and support to the LGBTQ community and SAGE and Le Refuge. Okay, now I'm confused. It says available June 5th. Oh, available June 5th online at Sephora, but available now, I guess, at Marc Jacobs Beauty. It's hydrating lip gloss sticks in five new festive shades, $29 each or $116 for the bundle. So they have a uh, pink Kiki, which is a baby pink shimmer, wet your lips, which is an apricot shimmer, coming out, which is a rosy mauve shimmer, hips don't lilac, <laughs> a lilac shimmer, and dancing sheen, which is a clean, I mean a clear shimmer. So I mean they're cute, but not anything that I would buy. Yeah, I'm not interested. Okay, it says a new full collection coming from Charlotte Tilbury. 
luxury palette of mattes in desert haze so it looks like a quad eyeshadow palette for 53 dollars mm, no ma'am <laughs> Oh my goodness, what else does she have? Airbrush bronzer for $55 each. Let me take a look at these shades. Okay, I guess they, ha they have one deep, you know, four different shades. One of them looks kind of deep, but it's hard. I don't really trust pictures because a lot of times the pictures look way deeper than they actually look in person. The packaging is absolutely gorgeous though. But yeah, $55? Nah, I'm good. Oh, it's refillable. So you can buy a, ref a refill of your bronzer for $39 when you run out. And it has here the Air Brush for $40. It's a kabuki style retractable bronzer brush handcrafted to glide over the skin for an airbrushed application, cruelty free. So it says it'll be available on May 21st. I don't know. It looks like a nice little collection, but yeah, I won't be spending that much for bronzer and a quad of eyeshadows. Okay, available now online at Ulta. Buy one, get one half off. Is that still going on? I don't know. But anyways, this is from Hemp's. New summer edition enriched with 100% pure natural hemp seed oil. Okay, so it looks like it's a lot of different moisturizers. And also they have some hand sanitizer. 17 ounces for $19.95. So, yeah. Those look nice. I've only tried uh, one Hemp's product. It's a lotion, a body lotion, I believe. And it was, it was okay. I didn't fall in love with it. I won't purchase it again. It wasn't bad, but it's not anything that I fell in love with. So I love the smell of their products, but I don't know that I would try these out. Okay, this is a palette I was talking about from Juvia's Place. Okay. Surprise, she just dropped a whole new, colorful, glittery, shimmery, happy, dramatic palette on your girl. <laughs> and everybody was like, what? So yeah, of course I did order this palette and I'm still waiting on mine. But this is the Wahala palette. It's $36. 20 pan eyeshadow palette with intense Colors is a beautiful mix of textures varying from high quality duochromes, soft pearl shades, creamy mattes, and glitters. Okay, so you can get 10% off if you use the code Trend Mood. I don't know if she sold out, but like I said, I ordered mine already. Can't wait till it gets here. <laughs> My girls already did their videos and stuff, and I'm just sitting there like. <laughs> salty as hell okay okay so beautylish has a watermelon sugar hydrating body scrub i love the thought of body scrubs i have a few body scrubs i've used body scrubs in the past and i really like them they leave your skin feeling so nice and soft some of them smell amazing so i do actually really love body scrubs um, this one says it's 100% natural whipped body scrub. It's infused with vitamin-packed watermelon seed oil and antioxidant-rich cocoa butter. It looks like it is available now. I do not see a price on here, but yeah, sounds really good. Okay, so it looks like La Rock has some new products coming out. This is the Golden Hour Collection. And it says it's inspired by the beautiful hues that Golden Hour exudes. Golden rays of warm light. It has a Golden Hour palette, $35, which includes six highlighter shades. Okay, that's cute. Lip gloss, $19 each in 10 different shades with translucent diamond shine and pearlescent clear finishes. Eye gloss trio. $23. Liquid gel cream formula, sunrise and sunset. Um, it says it'll be available. Well, it's available now on Lorac Cosmetics, but it'll be available in June at Ulta. So, I mean, it's cute. It's cute, but I don't think I'll be picking anything up. I really don't check for Lorac. I have one Lorac palette that I have not even tried yet, and I bought it like last holiday. <laughs> So, I don't know. I guess they just don't really appeal to me. 
but this stuff it looks nice but i doubt if i'll be picking anything up okay available now at ulta new additions to the tarte man eater line it includes a man eater plump and proud lip plumping gloss <laughs> um confessions of a man eater eye and cheek palette $30 so the gloss is $19 the eye and cheek palette is $30 is that it okay so a palette and a gloss um yeah no I'm not paying $19 for a gloss a, especially not a clear gloss the palette is cute but yeah no it's not anything that is appealing to me it's pretty but I'm sure I have a ColourPop palette with those exact shades in it. So, yeah, no, I'm good. <laughs> okay, Norvina Volume 4, $60, available now. Um, Yeah, I don't know. I, I don't know. Sometimes I look at this palette and it's like, why? It's It just looks so repetitive, so unnecessary. And you guys know I love my large Norvina palettes. And... I, of course, I'm a collector, so and I'm a completionist as well. So I was like, I have to buy it, okay? Because it's part of the set. But when I look at it, it's like, mm, I'm not going to use that. I'm not going to use that. I have those shades 50 times over already. And they're not anything spectacular for me to keep buying those shades over and over again. So... I don't know if I do buy this palette it's only because I'm trying to keep my collection intact other than that I really I really don't want it um she also dropped some electric cake liners I guess there's trios of water activated cake liner so it's two sets of three that are $30 each not interested at all that seems like such a strange combination to me with this palette those liners and the colors I don't know maybe it's something that I'm missing but it's that that's just that's a whole strange combination to me with that lime green and stuff yeah no nah, I'm definitely not getting the liners okay available now from Mac it's the bronzer collection summer 2020 it includes foiled eyeshadows, $26 each, strobe face glaze, $28, uh, medium face fan brush. What is that? Okay, so that's a cute little brush, $38.50. Radiant Matte Bronzer Powder, $32. Lipsticks, $20. Bronze Light Prep and Prep Prime Fix Shimmer primer <laughs> setting spray <laughs> $30 that's a mouthful lip glass $18.50 strobe body lotion $35 so it's a whole cute little summertime set okay and I don't want any of it well that MAC fix plus bronze is it bronze lit what is it called bronze light or bronze yeah bronze light prep and prime whatever that looks like it's it's gonna look nice you know it's gonna look nice all over the body but honey that that's a mouthful right there and other than that mm -mm. i don't know i just don't i don't check for mac i do not check for mac those lipsticks are pretty though very very pretty Ooh, i like the whole coral feel to them those are pretty but yeah i really don't i don't check for mac so I'm pretty sure I won't be buying anything from that collection. But that Fix Plus, it looks really pretty. I don't even know how I'm going to edit that whole section because I was all over the place <laughs> with those names. Hot mess. Ooh, Peter Thomas Roth Water Drench Hyaluronic Hydrating Moisturizer SPF 45. Okay, that's not bad. Sunscreen with a non-greasy cream to water invisible finish that shields skin and helps prevent moisture loss during sun exposure, $52. Now, Peter Thomas Roth has some really, really nice skincare, okay? So, I think this is probably something that's going to be really, really nice. 52 Zolas, okay? Um, 
yeah, I don't know. I doubt if I'll pick that up, but that sounds really good to me. Okay, so it looks like NARS is adding to their orgasm collection or orgasm family. This is an eyeshadow quad. It's limited edition for $52. Uh, <laughs> no. <laughs> no. NARS does not want my money. They don't. They don't want my money because... I really, really want a NARS eyeshadow palette. I really do. But it's just like, how could it possibly be worth the price? I just don't see it. I mean, this is cute or whatever, but just looking at these swatches, it's like I can get the same thing from e.l.f. for like $3. No, <laughs> I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. So yeah, I really, really want to try NARS, but honey, they not getting my money. No, ma'am. It looks like it's available now though. If you want to buy it, you know, if you want to get it, it looks like it's available now. <laughs> okay. So Revolution has a whole new collection um, under the Glow family. I guess it's called Glow. And it looks like they have a palette some bronzers of course i got a couple of the bronzers already but there's a lot of they have body glow primer blending brush they have a lot of stuff under this little glow family okay and some of the stuff looks really really nice i mean the palette looks very basic very basic you know it's like two three years ago the whole neutral warm pop of blue but i mean it, it's pretty but honey, the bronzes, I like the bronzes. <laughs> I do. I'm really glad I snagged those. So it has a heat wave eyeshadow palette for $25. It's a 28 matte and shimmer shadow palette. Splendor matte bronzers, $12 each in six different shades. Molten body glow, $17 each. Liquid illuminator in three shades. Beam dream iridescent primer. $8 glow body blending brush $12 um yeah so only thing I picked up was the bronzers and I'm so glad about it okay okay wait hold up Milani has a makeup melter cleansing balm I love the makeup melting cleansing balms oh my gosh I love them so much when I put that on and it just loosens up all my makeup and it just washes off, oh, I love them. So I'm probably going to try this. It says it's available now. Oh, you can get 20% off using the code TRENDMOOD. The Goddess Makeup Melter Balm. Makeup melting formula that leaves the skin thoroughly cleansed and nourished. Transformative texture instantly goes from luxe solid balm to a silky oil. Melts away the toughest of makeup without stripping or drying your skin. $13.99. It's vegan and it's cruelty free. Um, yeah, I think I might have to try that. Formulated with antioxidant rich cannabis sativa seed oil to both calm and nourish the skin. Okay, got a lot of good stuff in here. So yeah, I'm probably gonna have to try that. Okay, yes, 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 and yes. Okay, it looks like Mamacita Cosmetics. I've never heard of them, <laughs> but it looks like they have a new palette out. It has bright and neon, bright neon and pastel colors. Hmm. The Hello Summer Palette, $28, 15 shades, six mattes, three shimmers, and six pressed glitters. Mexico Lindo Palette, $25. Oh, it says it's sold out. 12 matte shades, uh, six pastel liners, bundle for $20. Uh, okay, so they have two palettes. I can see why the Mexico Lindo is sold out. That's a pretty combination of colors. It's very pretty. The Hello Summer is cute too, though. Um, I don't know. I'm kind of getting sick of glitter, though. I have enough glitter. The liners, very cute pastel shades. Um, I'm not in past, into pastels enough to actually buy pastel liners right now. But I think that's a cute little collection for sure. Very cute. And not bad. $28 for a palette, $25 for a palette. Yeah, that's not bad at all. I've never heard of them though, so I can't speak to the quality. 
Okay, so let me go ahead and hop over to Amy's Instagram page, which is Indie Makeup Spotlight, and just see if she has anything on there that I want to touch on. Okay, so first thing I see here is from Enchanted Luster Cosmetics. I've never heard of them, but it says it's the Dragon Prism Palette 2 launching May 22nd. So it's not quite out yet, but it's launching for pre-order. So I guess they're still working on it, but you can pre-order it. And this is what it looks like. I don't see a price on here. It looks very shimmery. Are those all shimmers? Yeah, it looks very shimmery. Okay. Pretty colors, but yeah, very, very shimmery. Oh my goodness. Touch of Glam Beauty. You guys, look at these swatches. Oh, so, so pretty. It says it's the Twisted Vivids versus the OG Vivids. <laughs> these are launching tomorrow, which I think, yeah, they should be launched by the time I get this video up. Uh, it says you can use Amy Loves to get them individually for $14.04 each or the bundle for for $130, $130.50. $130 Touch of Glam Beauty is expensive. They are pricey. But look at them shimmers though, okay? Oh, those are so, so gorgeous. But yeah, Touch of Glam is a touch bit pricey, okay? Okay, here are some swatches of some new matte shades from a company called Dandelion Co. Dandelions Co. It looks like they're coming soon. No pricing information, but it's just kind of like a sneak peek of some matte shades that they have. They look very nicely pigmented. Another indie brand that I've never heard of, Dandelions Co. So might want to check them out. Um, very pretty. Okay, so it looks like Terra Moon Cosmetics launched some new shades and you guys with indie brands a lot of times their stuff sells out really quick or sometimes their stuff goes on sale for pre-order so you just kind of have to keep that in mind with these smaller indie brands i mean their shadows are absolutely gorgeous and beautiful but a lot of the times you know when you find out or hear about them if you're not like checking for them already they sell out really quickly. So I don't know if these are still available or not, but she has on here from Terra Moon Cosmetics launching May 18th um, at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. It says they will be available for $8 each and you can use her code Amy Loves for money off. These are pretty. Those are really, really pretty. Let me see. Okay, I don't see any swatches, but they look very, very pretty. Ooh, oh my goodness. Sparrow Cosmetics, a reveal of two new highlighters launching May 22nd. Those are pretty. Okay, they're kind of like a pink. It looks like, is that like a rose gold type of tone? Bermuda and Siren Song. Yeah, I wouldn't buy those just because I don't wear pink highlighter like that, but those are really, really pretty. I'm pretty sure you guys saw this one already from Sample Beauty. The Prodigy palette. Oh my gosh, when I saw the picture for this palette, I just immediately started drooling. Just the layout, the color scheme. Mm, so, so pretty. I definitely ordered this. I don't know when I'm going to get it, but I did order this. And the other sample beauty palette that I have, I can't think of the name of it. I'll put it on the screen. But that palette wasn't the most amazing quality. It wasn't horrible. It was just okay. So that's the only thing that kind of gave me pause about buying this. But I said, you know what? I'm going to give them one more try, one more again, and see if this palette is like the same quality as my other Sample Beauty palette or if this is, you know, better quality because I love this color scheme. I really, really do. It's just so, so pretty. I like it a lot. But anyways, this is the Prodigy palette. Um, it's already out. Retails for $25 and your girl copped it, okay? Okay, it looks like some really, really pretty lipsticks. Liquid lipsticks from Girl Boss Cosmetics. You can use the code Taylor to get 10% off. Those are really pretty shades. I like those colors. So it says two new liquid lipstick shades, Lover and Mocha Swirl. 
from Girl Boss Cosmetics just launched. Okay, so I guess the other ones were already pre-existing shades, but those are pretty. I wonder how much they are. There's no pricing on here, but I might have to check those out. Those are really, really pretty. Okay, so I think I'm gonna go ahead and stop right there. I think that's enough for today. Um, A lot of things to consider. A lot of things to consider. I think the main thing that I got super excited about was the Milani, you know, melt away makeup remover, <laughs> which is like, oh, and the, the trio, who was that by? Gosh, I can't even remember. I'll have to go back and look. But the, the little trios that had the bronzer and the highlighter and oh my gosh, so, so bomb. But yeah, I think that is pretty much it. The other stuff that caught my attention, I didn't already cop, honey. I didn't already place my order. So yeah, that's it for new releases with KK today. <laughs> Let me know what your thoughts are down in the comment section below. Are you getting any of these things? Have you already bought any? Are you interested in any? And let me know what you think. So that's it, you guys. Thanks so much for hanging out and I will see you on the next one. Toodles!